Hi, I'm Isabella Gonzalez of the Dish Girls. And welcome to our fifth and final tournament of Tales Landian Gardens Trivia. This session will be hosting the winners of the previous three trivia sessions. Here's Samantha Munoz to introduce them. Isabella, for this final session, we have Azriel Dreamer from Undertale, Um Jam Ralami from the Namesake Game and Parappa the Rapper 2, and Riff from K95. This session's category is airports. The same rules apply as the previous trivia sessions. Hopefully, unlike the last trivia sessions including the second to last one, we won't have a tiebreaker round. If we do, we will have a bonus round. Isabella, back to you, whenever you're ready. Thank you Samantha. And now, without further ado, let's start the session with question 1. Who was Edward O'Hare, namesake of Chicago's International Airport? You have 10 seconds to discuss it, raise your hand to buzz in, and then answer. Yes, Azriel? Is it World War II flying ace? You are correct. Edward Henry Butch O'Hare was a Navy aviator and Medal of Honor recipient whose plane was shot down in 1943 and never found. A fighter similar to the one he flew is on display at the airport. You earn 10 points for this question. All right, here is the next question. Where is the airport that's named after Bob Hope? Yes, Lammy? Is it Burbank, California? Burbank, California. Well, Lammy, you're right. The local airport commission has proposed changing the airport's name to Los Angeles Burbank Airport, to more closely associate it with Los Angeles. You earn 20 points for this question. All right, here is the next question. Where is Stewart International Airport? Yes, Riff? Is it New Windsor, New York? New Windsor, New York. Riff, you're right. The airport's operator, the Port Authority, has renewed its effort to change the name, which comes from a prominent local family, to emphasize its proximity to New York. You earn 15 points for this question. Before we continue, we want to let you know this trivia session is cut short by two questions. So the final question will be points tripled at number 8. Azriel, Lemmy, and Riff are separated by 5 points. Anyways, let's continue on to question number 4. Now that we've gone over some discussions, here's question 4. What landmark is Galligan Field, named after the Treasury Secretary that helped plan the Lewis and Clark expedition, being renamed to include? Azriel? Is it Yellowstone National Park? Yellowstone. Azriel, you're right. Gallatin Field is located in Montana, 90 miles from the park. You earn 5 points and tie with Riff for this question. All right, here's question 5. Where is Lone Star Executive Airport? Lemmy? Is it Kenroe, Texas? Conroe, Texas, north of Houston. Lemmy, you're right. Its new name, Conroe North Houston Regional Airport, which will take effect October 1st, is to more closely identify the airport with the Houston area. You double and earn 20 points for this question. All right, here is the next question. Lambert St. Louis International Airport honors Albert Bon Lambert, an aviator and Olympian in what sport? Riff? Is it golf? You are correct. Mr. Lambert, the heir to the Listerine fortune, was on the U.S. Olympic golf teams in 1900 and 1904. You double and earn 15 points for this question. All right, here is the next question. There are airports named for Presidents Lincoln, Kennedy, Carter, Truman, Eisenhower and Roosevelt. Where is the Roosevelt Memorial Airport located? Azriel? Is it Warm Springs, Georgia? Warm Springs. Azriel, you're right. 
the airport was used by the president when he spent time at his little White House. You earn 10 points for this question. All right, points are tripled. Here is the final question. Washington's Dulles International Airport is named after John Foster Dulles, a former Secretary of State. In 1990, there was a Senate effort to rename the airport to honor what figure? Lemmy, do you wish to give this final question a go? Is it Dwight David Eisenhower? You are correct. The Senate effort was part of a larger plan to mark the 100th anniversary of President Eisenhower's birth. Mr. Dulles served in President Eisenhower's administration. You earn 15 points plus 30 more for giving out the full name. Well, before we introduce Kyra Marshall to give out the trivia results, Let's introduce Daisy Alvarez to give out the prizes for first, second, and third places. Daisy, take it away. Isabella, the first place prize is a trip to Punta Cana. Pristine white sand beaches. Natural adventure. Luxury resorts. Dominican Republic vacations are what dreams are made of. For a limited time, save up to 70% on your next Dominican Republic vacation. Secondly, the second place prize is a new Dell Inspiron 15 3000 laptop. It's a 15.6 inch laptop featuring responsive performance in a sleek design with two sided narrow borders, optional PCIe SSDs, Express Charge, and Intel Core processors. This laptop has a Microsoft Windows 10 operating system and for a limited time, get two years premium support for the price of one. It is worth $439.99 and on the Dell website, deals.dell.com. Financing is as low as $20 per month. And finally, the third place prize is a basic blue Walmart gift card. It is worth either $20, $25, $50, $75, $100, $150, $200, or $300. You can even enter your custom gift card amount. Remember, this item is gift eligible. Back to you, Isabella. Thank you, Daisy. Before we get to Cairo with the results, I want to let you all know that we have no wrong answers. Every single contestant on the show gave it their best shot and answered correctly. Now on to Cairo with the results. Kyra, take it away. Isabella, we have Lammy in the lead with 85 points, followed by Riff with 30 points and that's real with 25 points. So this game's winner and top overall winner in Talslandian game history is Um Jam Lammy from the namesake game and Pirappa the Rapper 2. Thank you Kyra, Lammy, congratulations. You are the winner and top overall winner in Talslandian game show history and your winnings of $85,000 are going to the Catholic Charities Diocese of Arlington. Thank you. Riff, your winnings of $30,000 are going to your charity which is no kid hungry. You like to eat food, right? Mainly take out orders that I get from restaurants, diners, or cafes, and even though I eat a lot, I sometimes have a bowel disorder when I see fit and keep on filling up and clogging toilets every now and then. Whoa, you sure make a great stink in the bathroom, and you always keep toilet paper and air freshener handy when you need it. Anyways, Azriel, your winnings of $25,000 go to your charity, Alzheimer's Disease Research. Do you have that illness? I did when I was 13, and when I turned 19 after 6 years of medical care, I no longer have that illness. Sands was diagnosed with that illness when he was 11 and when he turned 15, he didn't have it anymore. Unfortunately, Papyrus died from that illness. Well, that's sad to hear. Papyrus will live on in heaven. I will go to the studio audience and the TV viewers while you and Sans remember Papyrus in your hearts. It didn't hit me and I didn't cry after Papyrus passed away from Alzheimer's. He was 26. Well, it's a nice pleasure of hosting Tails Landian Gardens trivia. We'll have more sessions whenever Tails Lind and his friends, including me, are out of town. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you when I appear in some of TGRE's new videos. Bye. This trivia session is posted by the Arizona Dallas.
Tasmanian Gardens trivia is filmed at Tasmanian Gardens Studios in Chapel, Georgia.